subscribe to this channel because you want to swim faster on race day. And while goggles and tech suits make a difference, so do caps. And the number one cap manufacturer in the world at this time is Arena. And the fastest cap is the one I'm wearing right now with these ridges on the top, the Aquaforce Wave Cap from Japan. Another great option, also from Arena, and also being worn by yours truly right now, is this cap, the 3D Soft Cap. This is the number one most worn cap you'll see behind the blocks at the Olympics this year. Everyone loves this cap. They don't wear this, the Wave Cap, they wear the soft one, which is a bit saggier and has a little bit more comfort in it. Lastly, I want to talk about an absolute must-have for everyone in the world, something I'm trying to popularize in the West and is what every swimmer wears in Japan. The mesh cap, an absolute beauty, and Arena make the best one. I have tried others from brands like Mizuno, and they degrade a lot quicker than this one. Because it's a textile material, it will be affected by chlorine, but this one is really giving me great longevity, and it's like three pounds when I was in Japan. Wow. Today I'm going to talk about my three favorite caps, and they're all Arena models. Two of these caps you can buy on my website. I sell both a 3D Aquaforce Wave Cap on my website in this lovely white with the blue logo, and I also sell the 3D Soft Cap in blue with a white logo. If you do want to try these caps out after today's review, or just support the channel, then head over to my website www.theswimsuitguide.co.uk and purchasing one of them caps would really mean a lot to me. The first cap we're going to talk about is the fastest, the number one, the flagship. And everything good in this world seems to come out of Japan. Japan are leading the way in swimming technology. That's where Mizuno's heralded from and led the way since 2016. And that's where Arena Japan make this cap. It's so good that Arena International actually said, we're going to take this cap and we're going to distribute it worldwide. It's not cheap and it can be purchased on my website or from Arena for 50 pounds, but the performance is second to none. And it's not just a silicone cap. So much has gone into this. They've done flume testing to check the drag numbers. This is objectively the fastest cap in the world. It's not me just saying, oh, I really like this cap. It feels really fast. No, 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 they've measured this. They can tell you for a fact it's faster than every other cap. So if you want to be the fastest in a race and you're going to spend 400 pounds on a new tech suit, 50 pounds on a new pair of goggles, why not do that last little thing and treat yourself to this cap so that you can swim even faster and feel even more confident behind the blocks. Let me explain why it has these weird ridges and bumps on the top. The ridges cause the boundary layer to transition from laminar to turbulent, which delays the wake form and flow separation. The size of the low pressure zone behind the head is therefore reduced, reducing drag. Bottom line, this creates turbulence from the head, which then causes the drag behind the head, which is your body. It reduces the drag of your body through the water. That, in turn, makes you faster. Beyond the ridges that reduce drag, this stays in place perfectly on your head due to a thicker area around the bottom rim of this cap, and it has zero wrinkles. It's comfortable, but it is definitely not as soft as their 3D soft model. Even if I just hold both these caps up, you can see how much saggier and floppier this is and how this sort of holds its shape. Neither of these caps are like the bullet caps, the really thick caps that you can just put on your finger and hold like a pure dome shape, like the Speedo Fasking cap. These are both floppier and saggier, but I prefer this model by a long way. And if you look at people behind the blocks at the Olympics, you probably see they agree too. This one is a little thicker and it does hold its shape a little bit more than this one. And if you find this a little bit too rigid, then that's where the Arena 3D Soft Cap comes into play. This is the softest, most wrinkle-free cap out there. It has the same thicker edge at this bottom rim, and it is just a little bit more comfortable due to it not having the ridges and being a little bit more, well, soggy. I see people wear this on a day-to-day -day basis in training and then again put it on for racing. If you want to be fast in training, why not wear a wrinkle-free cap that's comfortable and stays in place perfectly? That's what this model is. It also comes in a little bit cheaper. I sell this for £35 on my website, so you're saving £15 to the Aquaforce Wave model, which has more R&D and more going on. This has been the gold standard of caps for as long as I can remember. Everyone races in it. Every federation uses this cap as their go-to cap, and it forced Speedo and Tier to both replicate it and make their own version. Speedo have the hero cap now, which Speedo Japan helped engineer to basically compete with this, the 3D soft cap, the best cap ever made it. And I say that because it's still the foundation of the fastest cap, which is the wave cap. Lastly, I do just want to talk about these mesh caps because I love them. I actually use this on race day, and that's the reason I'm bringing it up. I do wear this every day in training because it's super comfy, super well-fitting, 
and the only annoyance is it gets wet like a swimsuit so you have to leave it out to dry. But what this does brilliantly is it's extra flexibility, means that now I've got this mullet, I can tuck my mullet in behind it and then I can put one of my race caps over the top when it comes to diving in. Be it the soft cap or most likely the 3D wave cap because I'm a sprinter I will sacrifice any comfort. Not this is uncomfortable, just the 3D soft cap is more comfortable. But I'll, I'll go for the fastest on all occasions, and this is it. And this controls the hair. So maybe if you've got longer hair, you want to have something underneath your race cap that's very cheap, I recommend the mesh cap. But also, these are becoming really popular to train in. Craig Ozerkis trains in one of these, all the Japanese train in one of these. I see people like Noe Ponte now training in one of these, Florent Manadou trains in one of these. They're super cool and they're super cheap. I mean, super cheap. I paid three pounds for this when I was in the arena store in Japan. So if you want to try something new, feel cool. And these come in super funky designs. This is dive into the new era, but there's loads. You can get like, I'm pretty sure Disney princess ones if you want. There's so many designs. And maybe because you're going to have to import them from Japan, you can do a big bulk order and you're with you and your teammates can be kitted out in a cap for three pounds each. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, as I said before, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more reviews and training vlogs and other great content. And if you do want to support me, then do go over to my website and consider picking up one of these awesome race caps. They are the best caps in the world. They are faster than what you're currently wearing and they also support me and look awesome with my logo on the side. If you don't want a cap or you already have a cap, check out my range of other merch such as t-shirts and my training programs as well. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.